Internet. What's up, Internet? What's going on? It's time for a super fast recap of the live stream, which means it's time to put some conk and some hermit crabs into the saltwater reef aquarium. 180 gallons of salt and reef. As you guys know, you always want to do a little temperature acclimation with uh, things of this nature, like critters going into your aquarium, which I naturally did. Uh, the water salinity and uh, is pretty much right on point, so I didn't do any kind of drip ap acclimation. I just did a temperature to make sure that they were uh, right at the same temperature. And remember to always dispose of your old water. Do not keep that water from the bag and do not put that into your aquarium and sometimes when you have little critters like hermit crabs they will not get off of your net sometimes it's a little bit of a pain but don't don't despair they will they will drop off onto the ground and no problem uh conch are a little bit different you want to take them out of the bag i, I just I, I don't dump them out of the bag uh it's a little bit uh, nicer to be able to just pull them out they're pretty big and they're creepy little aliens so uh, as you can see here through the time lapse, this one is uh, flipping himself over with his weird uh, alien appendage, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Very entertaining little guys. Uh, I have a good time uh, checking out these dudes and, and seeing what they're up to and seeing what's going on with them. They're great little cleanup, a uh, little addition to the cleanup uh, crew in the uh, in the reef. It's good to get all these guys in here. Um, I'm going to be, of course, adding more over time. But, uh, this isn't quite enough to um, handle this big of a tank. But we don't want to we don't want to add too many all at one point in time. We want to uh, slowly make the additions to the reef. You don't want to just dump a bunch of uh, fish and critters and stuff in there we want to allow the system to be able to handle the additions when we add them in so we can maintain a healthy aquarium it's kind of important uh, to go about doing that way if uh, if you want to help keep your situation uh, your aquarium healthy it's a, it's an important way to go no not to just add a ton of stuff right off the right off the bat so that's what we're doing adding things little bit by little bit you can see here in the time lapse how quick these little buggers move around and start cleaning stuff up in the substrate for you uh, these little workers will do quite quite a bit um, but that doesn't mean I still don't have work to do we got work to do and we got another live stream coming up today so tune in for that uh, always remember to check out darkstararts.com and uh, click on the Amazon banner and all that kind of stuff and uh, check out the patreon page if you get time this has been the quick recap of the live stream from yesterday uh, July 19th all right later